Okay, for this extras, I wanted to talk about um, air handling a little bit. Um, if you'll notice, oh, that is not what I wanted, but thank you. Um, if you notice, you know, if we put in a number, that's fine, but if we put in anything other than a number, we error out. And we get this nasty error message, and it's not really super helpful for a normal end user. Um, so what we want to do is look for this specific type of error because um, this uh, I happen to know that this particular command can have uh, it can either do invalid syntax or it can do out of range. So we want to cover both of those. Um, so we're going to copy that, go over here, not over there. Um, let's go and kill that. Uh, and then over here. And um, <coughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if error. Um, so one kind of difficult thing with the error handling in Go is um, a lot of the like standard errors they don't have an easy way to check the type um, so you have to go via the actual string that it converts to um, so the easiest way to do that is to do strings contains and then feed it in uh, we do format string print format and then uh, we want uh, to convert this error to a string. So what that'll do is it'll take in this error um, and then pop out the prettified uh, string version of it and it'll actually create a string from that and then we'll compare that to um, that string of the function and uh, so, so string contains will take the first string and check if it contains the second string. So that's exactly what we want. And then if it does, then instead of error uh, returning, we want it to continue. Um, and let's go over and make sure it does that now. Okay. So it's no longer, we're still in it, we're still in it, but the error message is still ugly as sin. So um, we're going to go back over here and um, go down to where it's actually printing that, which is right here. And instead of printing this, uh, instead, we're going to print line and um, Say please enter, uh, please only enter a number one two z one hundred, and then we'll pop back over here. Check that. Please only enter a number one to a hundred too low 100 those are fine we don't actually care we just wanted to make sure that that error message was um, prettier and, but real quick we'll finish this anyways too, oh, too low <laughs> it's late <laughs> uh, the episode for this episode or for this extras, I guess I should say, is actually rendering right now. So, if this is stuttery, that's why. Um, but I hope that helps uh, with you um, making your, your programs a little more user-friendly uh, with the, the error messaging and all. Um, error handling is very important. Uh, in all things, um, but Go makes it uh, fundamental in a way that a lot of languages don't. Um, you can simply ignore them, 
but if you simply ignore them, you're going to feel it. <laughs> um, and the reason why we can't just ignore this error is because the eye that this would be feeding us would actually uh, not be valid, and that means that us trying to check if it's equal to the number would give us erroneous data. So we need to make sure to actually send an error and actually check, uh, you know, if that error is the right type or not. So uh, thanks. Y'all have a good one.